What's up, guys? Tipsy Gamer here. Thank you so much for joining me on my first ever hardcore Nuzlocke challenge attempt. I'll be doing a traditional hardcore run with Pokemon Emerald, plus a few added rules. In addition to the main three Nuzlocke rules, I'll be using the traditional hardcore rules of level caps, no battle items, and a set battle style. In addition, I'll be imparting a water type only limitation as well as a harder core level cap. What's that you ask? Well, instead of using the next trainer's ace as my level cap, I'll be using their lowest level Pokemon as my cap. Go big or go home for your first hardcore, right? Full details of the run are below in the description. So I chose the obvious starter here, Torchic. <laughs> Kidding. Kipper's the Mudkip starts us off with a pretty uneventful beginning. He just beats my rival, and in the same route, we catch our first addition to the party. Her flying type moves will be effective against gym leader Brawly. Welcome Wingull, hereby dubbed Pretty Bird, like Dumb and Dumber. Next route, we find a Lotad, and the funny thing about Lotad is backwards, it's spelled Dado like Dado girl she is. Welcome to the party. As a party of three, it's time for the first gym battle against leader Roxanne, with a level cap of her first Pokemon Geodude at level 12. Nothing of note here, Kipper's water gun one-hit KOs both of her Geodudes, but next up is her ace. After multiple super potions for her nose pass, I'm feeling the lower level cap already. But after a missed tackle, a final water gun from Kipper's does him in and earns us the stone badge. Today's live gameplay is brought to you by Reposado Tequila, increasing chances of a broken keyboard and a rage quit by about 32%. No new water types between here and Duford Town, so we head on to Brawly with a level cap of his Machop at 16. Pretty Bird's flying type should match well against Brawly's fighting type. Her supersonic confuses Machop and whittles him down to defeat, but at nearly half HP already, it's not looking good. Next up, Meditite, who loses his focus and allows Pretty Bird to deal the death blow and gain a level. Last up is Ace Makuhita. After confusing him with a supersonic and a crit from Pretty Bird, his Makuhita lands a vital throw, nearly killing Pretty Bird, and then heals with a citrus berry. Of course, to completely turn the tables. No! Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Finish the job with a heavy heart. God damn it. We accept the knuckle badge. Heading up Route 110, I ran into a new wind goal, male this time, so welcome to the party, Wingman. Next route, I find a Meryl, catch him ahead of the next gym fight, introducing Blue Mickey. So we head on to take on Watson for badge number three. Kipper's ground moves should make this a pretty easy fight, but with a level cap of 20, things could get spicy. All right, one down. Two down. Ugh. All right. Come on. Oh. Yes. All right, here we go, here we go. Kippers lands a final mud shot to end Manectric and thus earn us the Dynamo badge. I evolved Blue Mickey into Azumarill, as well as Wingman into Pelipper. We head on toward Flannery, which should be an easy feat with the all-fire lineup. Not even the level 24 cap can stop an all-water party here. And my Blue Mickey does not disappoint. He easily takes care of both Numel and Slugma. Alright. Ooh, that wasn't quite half. The sunlight's the problem here. Yeah. Ah, I'm paralyzed. Oh no. Huh. <sighs> okay, well, that's it. And of course, now we mourn the loss of Blue Mickey while Flannery hands over the heat badge. The next fight against Dad, aka Norman, will be the toughest yet, and maybe in the whole game, so it's time to fill in the ranks. 
I catch a Magikarp on the south side of Slateport, evolve it to Gyarados, ironically is not dragon type, therefore named not a dragon. I also catch a Tentacool, unfortunately, aka Jelly, on the coast of Duford Town, and level up for the fight of the game. I have no fighting type, and I'll be at a supreme level and speed disadvantage against Norman. I'll need to hit him with everything I have. Needless to say, the first attempt goes horribly. Reset number one, and now I'm in need of a completely new strategy. The second run goes about the same as the first, except this time I catch a Goldeen named Goldie Han in Duford instead of Tentacle. My Azamaril survives Flannery this time, so my boy Blue joins the ranks against Norman to give me a full party of six. He's joined also by definitely a dragon, please help, who now knows Toxic as part of my new strategy, a pointless Lombre who's done nothing so far in either run, and Kip Jr. The level cap at Spindas, which is 27, here we go again. Come on. Alright, my boy Blue got me. And my boy Blue's dead. I mean, you're pointless, but you're dead. Alright, he's loafing around. Come on. He's poisoned. Badly poisoned. He's badly poisoned. Fuck. Come on, you can finish this. You can finish this. Oh, the poison finished him! <laughs> oh, the poison finished him! That grueling battle oh. left only Kip Jr. and definitely a dragon standing. That was brutal, but we must press on. Now that I can surf, I run into a wild Pelipper surfing on Route 104, now named Sergeant Pepper, like the Beatles song. And I find my Carvana Mean Girl, as well as another Lotad on Route 114 to fill in my ranks. I named the new Lotad Taggart, after former, very short-lived Florida State head football coach Willie Taggart, whose slogan was, do something during his tenure, which is what I'd like my third Lotad to do. Something. Let's hope she doesn't wreck my run like Coach did to our football program. Last but not least, I make the incredibly long journey to Shoal Cave to catch an ice dual types feel ahead of Winona and her flying types. Now we're ready to make the trek back to Fortree and take on Winona. 29 is our level cap. A super effective and building power ice ball takes care of Swablu and sets up a potential one hit KO for the next Septropius if it lands. Be a one hit KO. Come on, one hit KO. Oh, <gasps> yes! Yes. Next up, Pelipper. Definitely a dragon takes care of it with a trusty 40 HP dragon rage and serves up the same for Skarmori. And since he's out, we roll with it for Altaria and he seals the deal, earning us Feather Badge with no casualties. Ha <laughs> yeah. ha with a massive jump from 29 to 41 for a level cap, I'm able to evolve both Mean Girl and Fat Boy ahead of Tate and Liza. Mean Girl's dark type move should be effective against the psychic types of the twins, especially against Zatu with the dual flying type, and then my water types as well should take care of the rocks. Double trouble. Got mean Girl and Sergeant Pepper. Crunch, crunch. Hopefully that's it for Zatu. Yeah. Lucky for me, Sergeant Pepper is unaffected by ground type moves. However, uh oh, I think that's the end of Mean Girl. <laughs> oh, crit. Wake up already! At least he hit, because Sergeant Pepper's still asleep. I can't lose him. 
Alright. You saved your comrade. Oh, and now Sergeant Pepper's awake. Can I hit? Before he heals? Ugh. Guaranteed 40 here. Sorry. Two versus one. Oh, don't kill him, don't kill him. Oh. That's it! That's it. A long and tough double battle earns us the mind badge, but a devastating loss of Mean Girl really hurts here ahead of the final badge. Luckily, I have one more route where I can catch a Carvana. 119. I realize Carvana's Evolution Sharpedo looks strikingly like Undertow from Disney's The Little Mermaid 2, thus earning her. Armed with Dive, I head to Route 124 to catch the desperately needed Chinchu who looks strikingly like Lightning Angler from Kingdom Hearts 3. Next on to Route 126, in hopes of diving into a Relicant. Since this is the Tipsy Gamer channel, we'll name the Rock Duel type on the rocks. He should come in clutch on the future Ice Opponents. And now we head to collect the final gym badge from Gym Leader Juan. Our level cap unfortunately remains 41 because of Juan's lev disc, so that should make things interesting for Lightning Angler in this final gym fight. And come on. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Alright, come on. Giga Drain. <gasps> oh, he won't heal. He won't use a full restore. Pull that Swiss Cash down. Put that fucker to sleep. Yes, 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 yes. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Ah, oh, yes. Oh no, oh no. All right. Go to sleep, Crawdont. Yes. Oh, yes! Let's crawl on down. Alright, paralyze! Ooh. Come on. Oh, rest! Rest! And he's awake now, too. Alright, well, let's do it all again, I guess. Oh, he's paralyzed! Oh, don't heal, don't heal. Again. All right, well, he's still asleep. Doesn't have another Chesto Berry. Unless he does. All right, let's try the ice out. <gasps> he's frozen! At least he's still frozen. Mm. 
I think this is it. Oh, please be it. That's it. All eight badges. Holy shit, what a defeat. And no casualties. Which is good because there are no more routes to catch a Chinchu. So the cap here will be 55, and while that sounds high, that's the champion's lowest level Pokemon, Tentacruel. I'm heading into the Elite Four. In tow are the Beatles, Disney's The Little Mermaid, the cult classic Game Kingdom Hearts, Seminoles College Football, Aquatic Animal Blubber, and a tasty serving of an adult beverage. I'm feeling pretty good. We salute the 12 fallen soldiers it took to get us here. But we're going to do them proud. All right, Sydney. Let's do this thing. Hmm. Well, he's not in the red this time. Oh, it was more than half. Oh, ha ha. Ace down. Yeah, switch out. Don't hurt yourself. Oh, what he landed a blizzard! Okay, oh. okay, okay, oh. Yes! One hit KO. Yes. Electrify that bitch. Come on, this should do it. This should do it. Yes. You're the loser. Oh, Phoebe. Crunch, crunch. Oh. This is bullshit already. Oh, got him that time. Oh, one hit KO! Alright, this is what I'm worried about. Come on. This should do it, this should do it, this should do it. Oh, oh yeah, Sableye down! Oh boy, Here comes the ace. We got this, we got this, we got this. Yes! Oh. Yes! Easy peasy. Oh no, I'm out of PP. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. That's okay, I don't need that anymore. I don't need Surf. Oh man, what a, what a crazy way to win. Crazy way to win. Alright, here we go. Oh, and my stats are going up! My stats are going up! Oh, God, those odds are low. That's the game changer. Alright, so who's coming out next? Oh, the ace! The ace!
I think this is it. Ace is down. Ace is down. Oh shit, shit, shit. God damn it, I'm low on HP. Light him up. Well, it doesn't fucking matter. I'm sure he's gonna heal. Recoil. Recoil. Yes. What a way to win. Truly fearsome, huh? Alright, Dragon Master, let's see what you got. Come on, one hit KO. Come on, one hit KO. Oh, yeah. Drake ain't got nothing on me. Oh, Ace. Oh, what he missed? He missed, he missed, he missed. Come on. Oh my god, he hit. He hit with Blizzard. This, this should be one hit KO. Ace is down. Ace is down. Ice against flying and dragon. One hit KO. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Oh, he hit. Okay, he hit. It's not going to do as much as I want it to. It's more than half. Oh my god, he hit again. Oh, Kingdra's down! Kingdra's down! This should be one hit KO! This should be it! This should be it! Yes! Oh my god. Yeah, I deserve credit. Oh. Oh god, okay. Alright, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Oh my god. I'm so nervous. Hmm. Oh my god, this is like a repeat of Badge 8. We got this. This is where we're gonna feel the level cap. We're gonna really feel this. Oh, there's so much HP. <gasps> I was a crit! I was a crit! Come on, KO. Please, KO. Oh my god. You guys. Oh, Ludicolo. This one's gonna be tough. Are right, he's paralyzed. Oh, oh no! It was a crit, but he's gonna heal! Oh, god damn it. Oh, oh, I wanna cry. Alright, do it all again. Paralyze him. Oh, these thunderbolts aren't doing enough. has to be enough to kill him. He missed! Oh, is this it? Oh my god, is this it? Ludicolo is down! Oh! Alright, Whiskash. Giga drain the shit out of this hoe. Oh, 
Sorry, do it again. Except, you know, maybe a little less so he doesn't heal again. Oh my god, that's perfect! Oh my god, I think this is it. I think this is it. Oh, Tentacruel. Ooh. Oh, just put him to sleep. Don't do any damage. Alright, we're good. He's asleep now, we're good. Alright. Light him up. Light that bitch up. Tentacruel's down, y'all. Tentacruel's down. Oh my god, this is it, guys. This is fucking it. Okay, it shouldn't hurt too bad. <gasps> hurt more than I thought it would. Alright, paralyze, paralyze, paralyze. Oh, please do just more than half. Just more than half. Oh, it was a crit, but he's gonna heal. Oh, I wish I could celebrate, but he's gonna heal. Citrus Berry? He didn't heal. He didn't heal! So Thunderbolt! Oh my god, is this- Oh my god, that was it! I did it! That was it! He didn't heal! Why didn't he heal? And he grows a level on top! Oh my god, guys. Oh my god, that was it! I did it! That's it. Hardcore, Nuzlocke, water only, done. <laughs> 149 hours. <laughs> What a run, guys. Thank you so much for sticking around. Make sure and subscribe so you don't miss my next run, which will be a randomized fire red hardcore Nuzlocke. In the meantime, make sure and check out my first ever Nuzlocke run posted below. Thanks, guys.